In this video, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to change your AC compressor clutch. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace an AC compressor clutch. And this is going to help you save a lot of money by buying an AC compressor clutch kit, which costs about $40 to $50, instead of spending hundreds of dollars replacing the whole entire AC compressor. The benefit of just changing the AC compressor clutch is that in most cases, you do not need to remove the AC compressor from the, from the uh, engine bay. So that means you do not need to disconnect the, um, the, the lines on the AC compressor. So therefore you're gonna save money again because you do, not, you do not need to recharge the AC system with Freon and you do not need to disconnect that many components to change this AC compressor clutch. Let's start with some of the basic tools that you're going to need to change that AC compressor clutch. So you might need um, a ratchet of some sort. You're going to need a C-clamp. You're going to need sockets, vice grip, a pick, a hammer, a rubber mallet, flathead screwdriver, and various snap rings plier and maybe an impact if you have one. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have the clutch and the pulley uh, clamped together. You do not want it to move independently. So you can either use a vice grip or a C clamp or maybe you can just use your hand and just hold the pulley and the AC clutch together. So let's begin. First, let's try using a a vice grip. So you can use a vice grip and you can clamp it together like that. If you don't have a vice grip, maybe you can use a C clamp and if you have no space, you can just try to hold it in place like that. Okay. So again, there are various ways to do this. You can use a vice grip, C clamp, or you can just hold it together like that. So the next thing you want to do is you want to remove the uh, clutch. So there's going to be a center bolts right there and just use the appropriate socket size. So in this case, this, this is a Ford. I know it's going to be an eight millimeter. You can put it in there like that. And to break it loose, all you have to do is put it on the, um, the ratchet. And if you can have this, this uh, vice grip held in place, then this pulley will not move. Since this vice grip is leaning against the table, all I have to do is just break it loose by uh, pushing the uh, ratchet down. If that doesn't work, you can always use a hammer and just tap it down like that. In a real life scenario, this AC compressor is going to be mounted on the engine and sometimes there's not enough space. What you have to do is you have to remove these, these four bolts right here and that give you enough room to move the AC compressor out of the way with the line still attached and you can just kind of create space and try to figure it out from there. Once you got that bolt loosened up, what you want to do is go ahead and just remove it. And now it is ready to remove that AC clutch. So this AC clutch might be seized and it's probably not that easy to remove it. So all you want to do is you can either try to Pull it out. If that doesn't work, then you can just try to tap it out with a screwdriver. Just try to find a good spot here. And you just kind of work your way around it. You do not want to damage the AC compressor, so just take your time. There it is, just come right out. And there you go. As you can see over here, this AC compressor clutch is completely worn. If you look right here again, you can see it is extremely worn and it's definitely time to replace it. In fact, I can actually smell it. It smells, it smells really burnt. 
That's a very bad smell to it. The next step is to remove the snap ring. So let me bring this closer. As you can see here, this is a snap ring. So basically when you remove the snap ring, it's going to remove the bearing and the pulley out. So try to find the appropriate snap ring. So this one may not work. So let's try this snap ring. This is a very, this is a very basic snap ring plier, which is less than $10. And anyone can do this. You don't need to spend that much money to, to buy decent tools to change a AC compressor clutch. Okay. Oh. So that snap ring flew out of place. And there you go. So make sure to keep everything in order. So, so far we have the bolt, the uh, AC clutch, and we have the snap ring. So again, try to stay organized. So far we have, we have the bolt, then we have the clutch, we have one snap ring that's holding the, uh, the pulley and the bearing in place. So just in case you forget, this is going to be the most basic order for most AC compressor clutch and all of them is going to be pretty much the same way. So next step, there's going to be another snap ring place that's holding this magnetic clutch coil. So you want to get to the uh, snap ring and remove that snap ring again to remove the uh, clutch coil. On some AC compressor, getting to the second snap ring may be difficult. As you can see here, the snap ring plier can't really go deep enough. I could barely yeah, I don't think this is going to work. So what you can do is you can use various picks and just try to get onto the snap ring like, like that, right? And that's how you can move the, uh, the snap ring. So let me go ahead and give this a try and let's see if this works or not. I think this one's going to be a much better pick. Okay, I almost got it. And there you go. That's how you remove that snap ring that, that has very limited space. Since this one became distorted, you need to change this, this snap ring or you can try to, try to bend it a little bit and get as straight as possible. So again, let's have a quick review so you don't get confused later on. So we have the center bolt. The AC clutch, there's going to be a snap ring that's going to go in front of the pulley and bearing and it's going to be a smaller snap ring that's going to hold this uh, clutch coil in place. Next, it is time to remove that clutch coil. Removing that clutch coil is going to be the, probably going to be the hardest part of the job to remove it simply because it's going to be stuck. So since in most cases the AC compressor is going to be mounted on the engine, it's going to be stationary so that's gonna make the job a lot easier. But since I have nothing holding this in place, I'm just gonna to have to maybe put my elbow against it or my forearm and try to tap it out in place. In most time, when you are changing the uh, AC clutch, there should be a spacer. But since there is no spacer, and I believe this AC clutch has been replaced before, simply because it seemed like it has a burning smell to it. And also, since I mentioned earlier, this, is, this came from a Ford. And if you look carefully, this pulley, it says Korea on it. So it was made in South Korea. So this is how I know that this AC clutch, it has been replaced. And the reason why this AC compressor uh, clutch fell prematurely is simply because it is missing a spacer. So again, if you're going to change this and let's just say, just in case you forget how to put it back together, first thing first, let's do in reverse order, put the ma magnetic clutch back in place. And when you put it back in place on some vehicle, there's gonna be a notch right here. So that's how you know that the magnetic clutch should go back in the proper place. After that, you're gonna have a snap ring that's holding the clutch coil in place. 
you're gonna have the um, the pulley and bearing you're gonna have another snap ring the AC clutch and you're gonna have the center bolt on some AC compressor you might notice that it's gonna be difficult to put the uh, pulley back in so basically what you have to do is give yourself a rubber mallet and tap it around in place so once you tap around evenly in place, so you're going to go over the, uh, the magnetic clutch. So as you can see here, sometimes it is just difficult for it to go over it. Hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Tall 5 Water Repairs.